Junpei's tired. That's alright though, he's got a lot on his mind. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3. Last time we climbed up not one but two sections of Tartarus, defeating two bosses in good old-fashioned Tartarus only update. And we got a fair amount of grinding in, so we're actually pretty well situated at the moment for doing things. We've got a little bit of a delay though, and we don't actually have any reason to go back into Tartarus now until the next full moon. Which is still a ways away. Which means we get to spend a lot of time in town. Oh, while I was at it, um... Learned Ragnarok, and it's kind of great. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll show you guys sometime. But I want to feel great. I gotta feel great. Oh man. There's, there are more exceptions to the rules than there are actual examples that abide by them. Cacti. Mooses! Many, many much mooses! Frolicking! Frolicking! In the grass! The grease! With the Mises! The correct answer is cacti. I like Miss Toriumi. Miss Toriumi, I, I think I made a Tumblr post at one point about this, but like, she's just about my favorite character in this game. And I think a lot of that's because, like, I was going to be a proper teacher for a while, and I didn't go through with it because of how horrible so many things ended up being. And I think I like her so much because I feel like had I gone through with it, I'd be almost exactly like her. She's a dork, but she's a dork that's just had the weight of the world and the students misbehaving and management getting on her, just crushing her. And, like, I feel bad for her because, like, she's a dork with a passion, but, like, just the w the weight of the world and the profession has gotten to her. Okay, so it's the 11th, and today we are to once again spend some time with Star. So we're going back to the place. Now we should, theoretically, be rank 9 with him. Well, he's like, he's a paper laying on the ground. So, there are, there's like flyers laying everywhere on the ground. Now this should be the... he should be rank 9 right now. Um, this is not the rank 10 though, not enough points, so they should just be spending time with him. So next time we sp talk to him... Next time we talk to him should be our rank 10. However, we're a day behind on him because I opted to finish up Chariot with this one's space. Welcome back. Yo.
We went yesterday. I like these guys. They're alright. You guys! You guys are alright. There's nothing to do in the evening of the 11th, though, so off to bed. Oh, um, I can do a couple things that I'm going to want to check out tomorrow. I'm already ready for this exam. I got this. Ah, uh, you again. As I would expect. Wow. A few hundred nothing. I'm not really sure how, but whatever. I should have rested. I don't need the knowledge. Well, I don't especially need great condition either. Now, it is now the 12th. You know what I'm doing? Because we do have a thing to do today. But I'm going to go to the mall. I could buy everybody better gear, I guess. Eh, there's no rush. See, look at all these flyers laying on the ground. Eh, whatever you say. Okay, whatever you say, you're a uh, you're lost one. You're a lost one, too. Yeah, look at all these flyers on the ground. They did... I remember... They seem to remember something about some kind of religious group or whatever doing a thing. I don't think we have much information on it at the moment, though. Okay, so a couple interesting things happened. First of all, I completed some requests. Uh, it's probably these. Yes, these. Um, the Omega Drive, which was... The Rainbow Hairs, I think, are... The reward for beating the most powerful shadow. The flashing, like, pink shadow on the floor. Which was uh, Hulk Hogan. But the reward is the Omega Drive, which increases your crit rate a great deal. So that's nice. Um, completed this one as well, which is Three Stands of Time, which comes from these hourglass kind of enemies. And for that, you got... Charun's hammer, which is like, it's a pretty friggin' awesome hammer. Way more powerful than anything else I had up until then. And, like, it's just a giant mallet, and I just smush things with it. Oh, uh, what else was there? Retrieve the last old document, which you saw me do in Vidya. Alright, I think that's about all of them. Everything else is dateless, and I'm not too concerned with many of them. However, Elizabeth would like to visit my room. Ooh, find the missing person. Yeah, everything else is pretty, uh, pretty standard. And this is effectively your rank 10 with Elizabeth, even though it wasn't actually a social link. So, this is the student dormitory, where you spend your days? Maybe we could introduce her to the rest of the dudes and go like, 
Hey, by the way, this is, you know how I can do the whole multiple personas thing? This lady. I mean, technically this is a guy's only floor, but... So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Technically, it's a male-only floor, but, uh, you know how many times, like, Yukari and Matur and everybody's barged into my room? While I'm in bed. Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room... Well, did it make you a little suspicious? A little. Something I'd like to talk to you about. Especially for Elizabeth. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories, each one a polished glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. Could somebody speak to the guy playing the background music and tell him to turn the volume down a little? That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold, The day you gave me a tour of your school. How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled? After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I'll put it more plainly. I'm naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times I seem to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. wouldn't mind. I'd like you to guide me through it. Thank you. And then things happen. A completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. 
And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. You know, Elizabeth, you're all right. You're all right. I may have to fuse that one just for her. But you're alright, Elizabeth. I liked that though. It was it was it felt genuinely meaningful. Like, a lot of the Elizabeth ones I'm not as... A lot of the Elizabeth things I'm not as big on, but... I don't know, especially in the end, and especially how that one turned out in the end, it felt very meaningful. It felt important. Sup? I thought we maxed you. Turns out we didn't. Though we're not going to have enough points to get a proper rank up. So just gonna be spending time today. We're like rank nine with her though. I feel bad for Elizabeth. That's okay though. There's no way she's just staying in there. So it is the 12th, and it is the evening, so there's really nothing for us to do, so... Going back to my room. And that is correct. There is no school today. Now, I was thinking we were gonna go spend time with the depressing guy, but we're actually not. What rank are we with him? We've gotta be getting up there. I'm too lazy to check. It's another menu I gotta go through. Oh, today we're actually supposed to go to the shrine. But, uh, to pray, specifically, not to actually spend time with anybody at the shrine. Yep, sub dude. Um, yes, I would like to recall how it works.
and I'm doing it for Yukari, specifically, um, lovers. Blessings to the Believer! Oh man! Heck yeah! I'll just add this to the pile of 3.5 million yen I already have. Sup, dude? Yo! Well, as long as that means something to you there, Junpei. Now, there is nothing else to do today, but exams are coming up. Now, we should rest up so our mind is ready and prepared. So I'm going to sleep early. Oh, yeah. Sleep, get in. I miss sleep. I like sleep. Can I go to sleep? I want to go to sleep.